Good morning, Brooklyn Center staff members. I want to take some time to speak with you after another night filled with cries of justice for George Floyd in our community. We join the chorus without hesitation. There are protests and riots, unrest that is fueled by a rage that we can understand. It is justified. That's what injustice does. It impresses, oppresses people to a breaking point where the fury spills out, sometimes uncontrolled. But we hope for more and we will work for better. That's part of why we do what we do. Our students and families are struggling. Some of them are inconsolable, but you already know this because you are looking into their eyes every day and walking with them through their grief and anger, rage, disappointment, and disillusionment. Without being asked, you have continued to be a source of stability and strength in a time in our lives that has already been deeply uncertain. For this, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know that you are struggling as well. This school year was already a heavy burden and a heavy lift before this week's jarring events. I know some of you feel that you're at your breaking point. I see you, and I'm so sorry. I too feel I've reached a breaking point at many times, but I know that I'm, but please know that I am here for you, with you, alongside you, all of you. Even as the city shakes and our needs are mounting, I'd ask that you please take time to take care of you, of yourselves, of your family, of one another, we need to be at our healthiest, emotionally, physically, spiritually, to serve well. We have to be mindful of our limits. We have to come up for air, and then we can resume our important work. Currently, we are pulling together resources for families, continuing to connect them with what they need to stay safe and healthy. We plan to create forums for students to share their experiences and emotions. And there are plans in the works to build and nurture community among family, families in a socially distant but not disconnected way. We're doing whatever we can to work through this grief-filled time. Please reach out with your thoughts and ideas. We want to hear from you. You'll hear more about these plans very soon. We're also thinking about the best approach for our learning environment in the final week of the school year in light of everything that has happened. I miss and love each of you. Thank you for standing front and center always for the BC community. We'll, we will get through this together.